once told me I was bad at advertising. Imagine that. <laughs> it was a boss of mine at the supermarket. I kept coming in with a face looked more like raw meat than what I was selling. Of course, at the time, I thought that man was wrong. Oh, what was wrong when it came to me? If all I had was beating back at the world, I thought it done me wrong. Yeah. Every bruise on my face, every drop of blood I shed was proof of my war against God's injustice. I look worse now than I did then, that's for sure. The difference is, now I know my suffering's a gift from God. I know it sounds like bull, but it's coming from a man in a wheelchair, so you got to entertain it. <laughs> Hear me out. All our outer nature's wasting away. But our inner nature is being renewed every day. And this life, no matter how long it lasts, is a momentary affliction preparing us for eternal glory. And we shouldn't pray for an easy life, but the strength to endure a difficult one. Because the experience of suffering is the fullest expression of God's love. It is a chance to be closer to Christ. I know one suffers perfectly. Sure not me. Even Christ had his moment of despair. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? He asked from the cross. Christ felt betrayed. You see, in that moment, he who was sinless took on all our sins and got judged by God. He took what we deserve he loves us. And that love can make the baddest man a believer. Because that love is a feeling like no other. And lead you all to find a feel that love. That's why God has given me the senior group to die. And for that, I thank him every day. <laughs>